Hi. Today's piece is gonna have almost the same colors that I used the last time because they are there and I'm going to use them up. I'm filming this intro after the fact, which I usually don't do. I just totally forgot about it. So the piece is sitting right there and it's semi-dry. What I did this time, it was funny. You know when you do those transfer swipes and you just put one over the other, they flip over each other. And I kind of wanted to do a, like one that's intertwined with each other. I don't know. I don't even know if that was the right word to use. You know what I mean though. So what I did was I did my swipe and I put it on my spreader but I used two, two. You will see in a minute. I um, scooped up. <laughs> ah. So I scooped it up like this and then kind of tried to. It... When you know what you want to do, but you have two arms and try to, I mean, this stuff is hard enough as it is. So what I'm getting at is I tried to do something like this. Does that make sense? Well, you will see what I did. I'm gonna show you the colors, not the consistency, because I used up all the paints, but I hope I will remember what I used. It was definitely Indigo Blue Black by Atelier. This little P Lakeside. It was PBO Blue Black. Venus. It was Glisten. If you watched last video where I tried out the Glisten and it had a pinkish shift to it, Fluid Art Company, where you can get the piggies, was so kind to send me a new one. But guess what? Does the same thing. Does the same thing. So I still have no idea why my Glisten turns pink, but it does. And that's why I chose the Venus to go with it. It's a nice golden shimmery pink. Okay, watch me do weird stuff. Sometimes you just have to play. Forget about work and play. Loosens up the muscles, loosens up the brain, and brings fun. See ya. This is my canvas. 7 by 30 inches with my pillow, the Gliden Essential in eggshell white on top. Those are my tools. So I'm dry practicing at, <laughs> at this point because I have no idea what I'm doing. And it's really hard to make your brain work sometimes. Okay, a fair amount of pillow paint, but still less as you would use for a bloom. You just need your vehicle for the paint. I start with the Blue Black by Atelier. This is Blue Black by Pibio. And I do want it on the blue because I like it. I like it on the white too as a background, but it, I don't know. very old paint. That's the glisten. The teal interference. 
teal P Venus. And this is Boom Gel in black. I like to add that to give a little bit more contrast. Okay, I'm loading the my palette knife with the black cell activator, titanium white cell activator, and Amsterdam greenish turquoise turquoise. Okay, here's the fun part. Usually I tilt the palette so the swipe runs onto my tool better. I can't do that this way. I actually have no idea why I don't do it separately. Yeah, and here... <laughs> I was just overwhelmed with what I was doing. I think next time I will use a bigger canvas so I have more space for my hands. Then that would give me more time to think while I'm doing this. Yeah, here's my old problem that I need to use up whatever is on my plate because I'm kind of curious what that spun out would have looked like. Never mind. Here's another swipe on top of that. For me, painting is never about a perfect painting. It's usually about learning, experimenting, and learning. Practice. So I invite you to learn with me. Have fun. Watch me fail. <laughs> Um, subscribe, leave a comment and a thumbs up. I will speed up the fine tuning and compositioning, mainly the getting rid of yet again too much pillow paint. And um, see you in the end for a close up. Not at all what I expected, as usual. <laughs> but what I really like is the iridescence and the interference colors. You 
can see in the reflection of the light, if you focus on that, you see the shift from the blue-black Venus and the glisten that has a pinkish undertone in my mix. They work so well together. So try that combination. I bet it's genius on black. Um, I might give that a try. Thanks for being here.